it took me a while to realize I wanted to step out of the house and be a little nervous about what I was wearing. Because I figure if I'm nervous, this is good. <laughs> and if I'm not nervous, this is gonna be boring. I like the whole process. It's part of my inner core, I guess. And creates impact, extremely colorful impact. What are you? What are you? What are you? I don't know what I am. I mean, half of us don't know what we are, do we? Abstract art is, is, is open to multiple interpretations. There's no one answer, you know. Things that are within me that I can't necessarily express myself, I seek it out in other people whose work I enjoy or appreciate. You can hear the birds outside sometimes, and you'd swear it was these ones. Contemporary art has so many possibilities. One of them is you get to meet and know the artist. Typical of Anne, she said, you know, whatever you want to do, whatever, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> That's Anne. <laughs> She's so great. Well, what's our next commission? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to look first. Nature really became the thing that was my passion. It's always changing, just as our lives are. That picture kind of says quite a bit. It says the excavators have taken over, there's no going back. It was working through a tough period in life by doing something that felt right. And, you know, it still, it still resonates. Yeah, it does. Hmm. We used to have a lot of white walls in the house and there's very few left, if any. And I think that says something about the spirit that my mom has inside of her and was hoping to connect with and find. I think this is something that my mom really can stand back and say, this is me. This is, this is me setting my own direction, fostering my own community, and building my own sense of identity in the world. And that's pretty wonderful. <laughs>